In this video, we're going to solve some basic problems associated with heat pumps and refrigerators. So let's start with this problem. A refrigerator uses 1500 joules of mechanical work to absorb 4500 joules from the cold reservoir at 250 Kelvin. The hot reservoir is at 300 Kelvin. Calculate the coefficient of performance for this refrigerator. So let's draw an energy diagram. So this is the engine. And above, we have the hot reservoir, which is at 300 Kelvin. And below, we have the cold reservoir which is at a temperature of 250 Kelvin. And we need to put in mechanical work in order to take heat from the cold reservoir and pump it to the hot reservoir. So the refrigerator is basically the opposite of a heat engine. We got to put in work to take heat from the cold reservoir and pump it to the hot reservoir. In a heat engine, heat flows from hot to cold and mechanical work will be done by the engine in that process. So in this example, we're using 1500 joules of mechanical work. And we're absorbing 4500 joules from the cold reservoir. So we have W in this problem and also QC. So how can we calculate the coefficient of performance for this refrigerator? The coefficient of performance, represented by the symbol K, is equal to QC divided by the absolute value of W. Now QC in this example is positive 4500. W is really negative 1500, since work is being done on the refrigerator but we're going to use the absolute value of W, so that's going to be positive 1,500. And so 45 divided by 15 is 3. So the coefficient of performance of this particular refrigerator is 3. Now, part B, what is the maximum coefficient of performance? So what is it for an ideal Carnot refrigerator? The formula that you need to calculate it is it's Tc divided by Th minus Tc. And the temperature has to be in Kelvin. So if you have temperatures in Celsius, make sure to add 273 to it. So the temperature of the cold reservoir is 250 Kelvin. And the temperature of the hot reservoir is 300 Kelvin. Now, 300 minus 250 is 50. So this is going to be 250 Kelvin divided by 50. And so the maximum coefficient of performance for this problem, or for this particular refrigerator, is 5. And so that's it for that part. Now, let's move on to part C. How much energy is delivered to the hot reservoir? So our goal is to calculate QH in this problem. The absolute value of QH is equal to the absolute value of W plus the absolute value of QC. So the mechanical work in this problem is 1500 joules and QC is 4500 joules. So a total of 6000 joules of energy will be transferred to the hot reservoir. And it makes sense. The engine takes in 4,500 plus 1,500. So it takes in a total of 6,000 joules of energy. Therefore, it's going to deliver 6,000 joules of energy to the hot reservoir. So the total amount of energy going into the engine has to equal the total amount of energy going out of the engine if the engine is to maintain its constant state, if it's to maintain a, a certain temperature. Otherwise, if it absorb a net amount of energy, the temperature of the engine will rise. But in order to keep the temperature constant, the total energy that goes into the engine must equal the total energy that comes out of it. 
Number two, a Carnot refrigerator takes 4,000 joules of heat energy from the cold reservoir at 270 Kelvin and pumps it to the hot reservoir at 300 Kelvin. Calculate the amount of energy transferred to the hot reservoir. So this is going to be the engine. This is the hot reservoir. And here we have the cold reservoir. So the temperature of the cold reservoir is 270 and for the hot reservoir is 300 Kelvin. So the refrigerator takes in 4,000 joules of heat energy from the cold reservoir. So 4,000 joules is going that direction. So that's equal to QC. Our goal is to find out how much is going to the hot reservoir. So we need to calculate QH. So for an ideal refrigerator or a Carnot refrigerator, we can use this equation. QH divided by QC is equal to TH over TC. So we need to calculate QH. QC is 4,000 joules. TC is 270 Kelvin. And TH is 300 Kelvin. So let's cross multiply. So first we're going to have 4,000 times 300. And so that's going to be 1.2 times 10 to the 6. And then that's equal to 270 times QH. So QH is 1.2 times 10 to the 6 divided by 270. And so you should get 4,444 joules of heat energy going to the hot reservoir. Now let's move on to part B. How much work is needed to accomplish this? So the mechanical work is going to be the difference between QH and QC. So it's 4,444 joules minus 4,000 joules. And so W is equal to 444 joules. And so that's it for that problem. Now the last part, part C, calculate the coefficient of performance of this refrigerator. And we're dealing with an ideal refrigerator. So one way in which we can do it is we can use TC divided by TH minus TC. We could use that formula. And so TC, the cold temperature, that's going to be 270 divided by the hot temperature, which is 300 minus the cold temperature of 270. So the difference between 300 and 270 is 30. So 270 divided by 30, that's equal to 9. So that's the maximum coefficient of performance for this refrigerator. That's the ideal value. Now because we have an ideal refrigerator, we can also calculate it using this equation. It's QC over W. So in this case, QC is 4,000 and W is 444. And this is also equal to 9. Now keep in mind, W is 444.4 repeating. So if you add the 0.4 repeating, the answer is going to be more exact. And so that's it for this problem. Number 3. A heat pump with a coefficient of performance of 4 uses 2,500 joules of mechanical work. How much heat energy is transferred to the hot reservoir? So let's draw a picture. So we have 2,500 joules of mechanical work is going into the engine. And our goal is to calculate QH, the amount of heat energy going in to the hot reservoir. Now the coefficient of performance is equal to QH divided by W 
for a heat pump. For a refrigerator, it's QC over W. So to calculate QH, it's simply the coefficient of performance multiplied by the mechanical work. So it's 4 times 2,500, and so that's equal to 10,000. So 10,000 joules of energy is going to the hot temperature reservoir. So now let's move on to part B. How much heat energy is transferred from the cold reservoir to the engine? So QH is the sum of W plus QC in this problem. So QH is 10,000. W is 2,500. So QC is going to be the difference between 10,000 and 2,500. So that's 7,500 joules. So that's how much heat energy is being pumped from the cold reservoir to the engine. It's 7,500 joules of thermal energy. And so that's it for this video. Hopefully it gave you a good understanding of heat pumps and refrigerators and how to solve some common physics problems associated with it.